A little quick update before today's episode. We are ranking at number 49 out of like 800,000 of podcasts in iTunes. Now we have some heavy hitters ahead of us. We have all of National Public Radio. That's like This American Life and Radio Lab and Splendid Table. But I'm curious, do you think that we can come up to be number one podcast on iTunes? That's a big thing. So what I need you to do is pick up the phone, make this like a pledge drive, call every friend, every cousin, every stranger, every enemy that you have, and tell them about the show. Tell them to find it in iTunes and subscribe. I want you to leave a five-star comment every single day because we are gonna kick this. We're gonna win. We are going to come in at number one on iTunes with your help. Thank you. Vote Dan Slaney. While in the grocery store in Austin, Texas, I stumbled upon the most bizarre looking teeny fruit that had these little purple lines in it. So I bought some to investigate for today's WTF. Today's sponsor is Rio's Brazilian and you can check them out online at riosofaustin.com. I actually just paid a visit to them while I was in Austin. Uh, they run a nice little shop there and they make a bunch of interesting products that are all sort of Brazilian inspired. One is their gluten-free cheese balls. Another are a bunch of different hot sauces that they sell online on their website, riosofaustin.com. Give them a shot today. So today we are talking about the pepino melon, which is a fruit from an evergreen shrub called the pepino dulce, or the sweet pepino tree. The tree is native to South America and grows throughout Chile and the Andes. However, it doesn't grow wild. It is a domesticated shrub. The pepino melon resembles a cross between a melon and a pear, which is kind of where it gets its name. It's often also called the melon pear. However, it really has no relation to either of those fruits. In fact, it's from a family called nightshade, so its closest family members are the tomato or eggplant. When you go shopping for your pepino melons, you want to make sure that the stem is bright, fresh, and has a nice sweet aromatic property to it. Uh, the flavor of the pepino melon as a whole is super, super mild. I was actually kind of shocked by how mild of flavor it is. Now you can eat the entire pepino melon, save the seeds that are on the inside, you want to remove them. Um, but in our recipe today, we're going to peel the skin off so that the pepino melon can better absorb the liquid that we're going to cook it in. Which leads me to our recipe, sugar poached pepino melons over some ice cream with mint. First, blanch your pepino melons by adding a pepino melon to boiling water for about three minutes. Then quickly submerge it into an ice bath. After a minute or two, you'll be able to peel the skin off very easily. Cut the pepino melon in half and scoop out the seeds, then slice it into slices. Put a half a cup of sugar in a pan along with one cup of water and a teaspoon of cinnamon. Let this come to a simmer and add your pepino melons. Poach them for about five minutes in the sugar syrup. Serve them over ice cream and garnish with some fresh mint. So that's how you make a really simple pepino melon dish. Now, as I said, the pepino melons that I bought were really mild in flavor. So one of the reasons I was poaching it in some sugar was to actually up the ante and make it a little more bright. Um, you might want to add more sugar to your recipe or even cover it in honey uh, because honestly, it was not that sweet of an ordeal. Tune in tomorrow for another What's This Food. You can check out our sponsor, riosofaustin.com. And if you have something you want me to cover, you can email me, hello at danielslaney.com, or post a comment below. I will see you tomorrow. The tree is native to South America and grows throughout the Andes and, oh my God. <laughs>